टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वर्क एनर्जी एंड पावर वी यूज टू से वेरी कॉमन टर्म दैट आई वॉज वर्किंग वेरी हार्ड फॉर द एग्जाम्स बट आई डिट पास द एग्जाम्स डू वी टॉक दैट वर्क इन दिस सेंस ऑफ द फिजिक्स और साइंस नो हियर द डेफिनेशन ऑफ वर्क इज समथिंग डिफरेंट सपोज दिस इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट विद मी ऑफ मास एम आई कीप इट ओवर हेयर and i apply force from one direction to this object now we will see that the object is moving when i am applying the force and i apply the force to move it from to this position so i move this duster from this position from this first position to second position so there is a distance traveled or displacement is there now and the force is applied so we will say that the work is occurred the word has work has occurred or we have done the work in moving this object from one distance to another so we will define work as this can be defined as when force is applied an object object and this and a displacement takes place displacement occurs then we say that work is done now we keep we keep to key points of this definition in mind that is when force and second displacement now we know that what the force is force is applying a push or pull force to something so we can and secondly we will discuss what displacement is and how it is different from distance traveled displacement is if an object moves from point a to point b say this is point a and this is point b now a object travels from through this path and comes to point b so the total length of the path is known as distance traveled but displacement will be given by joining the points a and b by straight line so we will say that the displacement of the object in moving this much path and reaching to point b is only this much distance so this we have to keep in mind that work the definition of work always displacement is there not distance travel we can generalize this definition by formula that work w is equals to force into displacement we can say that there or we can write it as suppose we have an object a here we apply a force of say magnitude f and it travels to distance say the final distance is of object a is this so the displacement here is say s unit so we can generalize this formula as f into s now now we will see that how the work is done how the work is done on an object
So we got the formula of work to be W is equal to force into displacement. We know that the unit of force is Newton. The magnitude of force is always measured in Newton. And unit of displacement is same as that of distance, that is meters. So we can say that the unit of work is Newton meter because there is a multiplication of both the units so the unit becomes Newton meter or a new name given to this Newton meter is Zool represented by capital J. Now how do we define what a Joule is? The name Joule is given to the unit of work so that we can give honor to a great scientist Joule who discovered the amount of work done or who worked over this work. Now to define Joule, we will come back to the formula that is work is equals to force into displacement. So if we say that one Newton force is applied on an object such that a displacement of One meter is there then we say that One joule work is done. We'll go through this definitions one, definition one again. One Newton force is applied on an object such that a displacement of one meter is there, then we say that one joule of work is done. Suppose we have an object A which is lying on a table or surface. We apply force from here and this object moves and comes to a distance and travels a distance say small s and comes to this new position Now, if we consider the magnitude of this force to be equal to 1 Newton and this distance, if we apply a force of 1 Newton on this box or an object and it travels 1 meter distance, then we say that we have, we have done a work equivalent to 1 Joule.